Hi. We had the room all to ourselves I for a while like there. That. <laughs> we're I like that. With lots too. of food, so we're not going to go starving, that's for sure. No, 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 no. Okay, in about two seconds, I want you to take a look at this. Look at this. Wait I'm just going to open it. this up. Wait for it. Bam! <laughs> We've just looked at what could have been a just plain old Jane meatloaf and wow, have taken it to a whole new level. This is my favorite product to bring to you in the kitchen, created by Chef Tony himself. It is the Miracle Meatloaf Pan and really it's so popular because it takes ordinary meatloaf and puts whatever side dish you love or whatever other thing you love, combines it all together. Absolutely. This is an insane price on this. I can't believe it's on clearance, but it's been so popular. We're down to our final quantities, less than $13 to really just create amazing meals that are really gonna knock the socks off of your family members. We're even gonna give you two months to pay for it. So really you're getting it home for $6.48. What, I see asparagus, I see gorgeous cheese, and I see ham. I mean, yep. really? This is a cordon bleu stuffing. Huh. So my mom always said, you know, if you can put it on the side of the plate, why can't we put it inside the meatloaf? So that's what we've been doing since I've been a little boy. We've had these stuffed meatloaves. I actually created a product that makes the process easy. So I'm just going to show off a couple of more of the meatloaves, then I'll show you how it's made oh, together. Oh, yeah. And, and believe me, some of the things that Chef Tony's creating is going to be in a recipe booklet that we're going to give to you with this pan to get you started off because maybe you don't have a crazy imagination or a wonderful, <laughs> I should say, wonderful, tasteful imagination like Chef Tony's. Thank so, you. Yeah, absolutely. Basically, whatever your favorite food is, if you put it on the side, you can mix that together and stuff it on the inside. So I'm going to open this up and just let you take a gander because this is where it all began. This oh. is my Aunt Nancy's stuffed meatloaf. She would take all the leftover mashed potatoes, um, place it on the inside with hams, fresh spinach, mashed potatoes, a little mozzarella, and sun-dried tomatoes. And then she'd wrap that up in the ham, stick it on the inside of the meatloaf, and bake it up. Just take a look at how gorgeous that is. And that's, you use hard-boiled eggs in this. Mm. So you make it, put the eggs in, roll it, place it on the inside. If we come over here, I'm just going to pull this to the side a little bit and open it up. This is just a simple thing. We took a breakfast burrito, or excuse me, this is a regular burrito, we placed it on the inside. So you do a Mexican sauce, a little bit of jalapenos if you like, some fresh cilantro, burritos, you can do that with beef. This can be managote. Yeah. This can be whatever your favorite stuffing is. Oh. We're just placing it on the inside and we're having fun with the food that we're gonna serve our guests. All right, let me show you everything you're gonna get because you're gonna get the meatloaf pan. You're going to get an insert uh, that goes inside it. So even if you just wanted to make regular meatloaf, this is an awesome pan because this little lifter helper pulls it out so beautifully, you don't end up having mashed up meatloaf trying to get it out of the pan. Then it's going to come with the lid that's gonna be crucial to help make it stuffed and your recipe booklet. You have your choice of red or you have your choice of black. Only 100 available in the red. And remember, this is it. It is not coming back. If you have this, I'd love for you to give us a call. Our testimonial Yay. line is open, 1-800-395-1601. Uh, okay, so you're going to show us how to do it. Absolutely. We have five recipes for your meat. So you have two beef, a pork, chicken, and, and a, a fresh uh, uh, turkey. And what we did in here, we actually did a turkey type stuffing. So we took okay. three quarters of our meat, placed it on the inside. And then what you do, this is a two stage cover. So I wanna show this to everybody. On one side, it has this little piece that's lifted up. When you turn it this way, you actually lock the base on. And when you turn it the opposite way, this is what makes your cavity or your divot. So you press it into your meat, rock it back and forth. That's gonna make the opening. Now I like a lot of stuffing, so I massage that a little bit more. Okay. Then you take whatever you like, and this is fresh cold cut, so just some salami and ham. You place Place it right inside. Add the rest mm. of your meat on top of that. Okay. And let me just finish this off for everybody. And then when you reverse this and you press this down, it takes all the meat on the top and then locks the sides, pulls everything up and down. Your meatloaf is locked and finished. We take this, I'm gonna pop this right into the oven. And then through the magic of television, we're gonna take one right back out of the oven that's finished. And then the cool part oh. of this is something that I think everybody will enjoy. It actually comes with a tray, and I want to show this to everyone. Totally non-stick, so mm -hmm. it's easy to use. But this is where the magic happens also. Because your meat sits on top, all that grease and fat, which is what people hate about meatloaves, drip through those holes and down into the bottom of the pan. So you don't get a really fatty type greasy product. And a soggy bottom, Absolutely. which makes for an ugly presentation. We'll lift this up. See, I love that. That alone is worth its weight in gold. I, this, exactly. I just really wanted to is. do this nice and slow because the, one of the hardest things you'll ever try to do is getting the meatloaf out of the pan. You can see how simple that was. So this is the cold cut recipe that I just showed everybody how to make. Let's just do this. We'll do this. And we'll show off a beautiful presentation. Oh.
I mean, we're meatloaf lovers in my family, but there have been so many non-believers because some meatloaf recipes can be very boring and dull, like just meat with ketchup on it. Now you can change the way anybody who's hated meatloaf to rethink and love it again. I mean, look at these creations and imagine cool? when you make something like this for the first time for your family and if they are the kind, like you got the kids that are like, ew, meatloaf? <laughs> can you imagine bringing it out, fooling them because it looks like a normal meatloaf on the outside and then cut it and open in front of them and maybe having their, mm -hmm. if they love the mashed potatoes and they see that inside or I know mac and cheese is another one that Tony loves to do. Mac and cheese stuffed inside, they're going to go nuts. Absolutely. And then everybody He's happy, you're a rock star, and what it just makes meatloaf fun again, and I just love this product. Now Thank the question you. is, I know I've gone through your recipe booklet, I know a lot yes. of the recipes call for three pounds of meat in Correct. it. Some people want to ask, well, if I'm just cooking for myself, could I make it and still only sure. use maybe two pounds of meat? You absolutely can. You okay. can make it the size you want. If you didn't want to stuff it, you can just do a plain meatloaf. This will actually hold three stuffed peppers. Let me show this to everybody too. This is a cornbread. Remember, this is a loaf pan, that's where it started, so you don't have to just do stuffed meatloaves. Look at how beautiful that popped out of the pan. You can see the pan and how easy it would be to clean. No oils or grease necessary, but more importantly, look at how perfectly caramelized and brown mm. that bread is. That's what you want out of any good loaf pan. And then you mentioned the mac and cheese. Is that this one? Oh yeah, I have I to show on this it. off. I wasn't quite sure because you make so many great, I mean, he makes a Greek one with feta cheese and spinach Absolutely. in it. Absolutely. I mean, the monogote one from my mother's, my father's um, uh, stuffing which is with rice and sausage, which is to die oh, for. I just bet. absolutely delicious. Let's lift this up and just take a look at that. Ooh, now this is the Managate. That's the Managate. That's the Managate. Just now take wait, a look at that. No way, you usually bring me forks here, Tony. Um, I have, I have some. Yet Can to I have eat. the plate? I have yet There's to eat. There's a plate. <laughs> Let's place this on and top. And while I take a big old bite, let me quick uh, give you an update. I the red has sold out. Thank you, everyone. We have only everyone. the black left. I urge you, get this home. It's $6.48 with your credit card. Try it for 30 days. If you do not find that these recipes are fun and that your family is going to love this, you can send it back. But at this price, it's also just phenomenal for a great loaf pan. It's item K39240. I'm going to take a bite while we go to the <laughs> phones and let Mary say hello to Chef Tony. Hi, Mary. Hey, Mary. Hi, good morning. Good morning to you. How are you? Great, I love this pan. I Thank used you. it last Sunday to make a turkey meatloaf. Awesome. Uh, for my family. Um, stuffed it with spinach, onions, peppers. Turned out so great. That sounds excellent. Did you use the uh, turkey mix that I put in my recipe book? I did. How'd you I like did. it? It was, it was really, really good. Thank and you. Um, I also got one for my daughter who's getting married in September. So she'll be surprised to get this. Absolutely. Did you find um, not only making the, the meatloaf easy, but what about the cleanup? Was it easy for you? Oh, it was really super easy. Yay. Fantastic. I love it. And I've really never made meatloaf before, and I've been married 35 years. <laughs> See? See? It's, it changes the way you think about what a lot of us, I think, maybe think is meatloaf is like, eh, don't meat make meatloaf? What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, I mean, meatloaf was always looked at as like, oh, whatever we have left over, we'll just throw in. But you go in a restaurant, you'll pay some serious dollars for a good meatloaf. Now you can make the best in your own kitchen. And Mary, that's what you did. We thank you for that. Thank you. It's an awesome pan. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm thank very proud you, of my product. Thank you, Mary. I'm glad you guys got to talk because I was just sitting here eating because <laughs> this is amazing <laughs> and you know it. So have a wonderful day. And you just too. thank you for shopping with QVC. Yes. Thanks. Thank bye you. Bye -bye. Have a great week. I mean, honestly, honestly, this is it's good. unbelievable. Simple, fun, delicious, and that's what it's all about in the kitchen. Thank you so Bring much. Bring the family back to the table. Have fun. 700 now ordered. Oh, the black thank you, everyone. Is, is the only one we have left, but believe me, who cares about the color? All mm -hmm. you're going to care about is the awesome food you're going to eat and serve to your family inside of K39240. Okay, I'm taking my... You're taking my, it with you? My Miracle Meat I with me. I love it. I love it.